Hi everyone, it's Nicola here. Um, this isn't really a tutorial, it's more sort of just a, a guide for my crafty comrades who were a bit worried about putting together Gina's um, gypsy wagon. So I wasn't really expecting to do a tutorial on putting it together. Um, so I have some pieces already glued into place, but I just want to show how the pieces fit together and how really simple it is. There's lots of bits, so it looks a bit intimidating, but I promise it's not hard at all. The first thing I did was I took this rectangular piece and there's slots all along the edge. If you take there's two pieces that sort of look like filigree bits and there's two holes in them. You want to put those on either side and you want to make sure that they line up. So there's one piece that's a little bit lower than the other piece. Make sure that that is reflected on the other side and glue those into place. So now on um, when you flip it over, these slots will still be empty and this will be flat. So this is for the carriage part where your we where the wheels will fit into place. Um, so there's two bits of doweling. Take one piece of doweling and stick it right in the hole. It might take a little bit of fiddling but you'll get it in there. And then the other piece of doweling and put that in the other hole. So there's two sizes, um, two wheel sizes, large and small. You will want the small ones to fit through the doweling that is um, in the hole that is a little bit lower than the other one. Now, there's all these little rings and things there. Most of them are the same size. There are four that are smaller. So just separate that up. Um, you can add extra if you want. I don't think it's necessary to add every single one of these. What you want to do is take one of these circles and place it right on there. Take a large wheel and then put that on top. You will glue these into place. You will do this to the other side also. These just help to space everything out and keep everything in where it should be. Okay, so now for this one. And the other side. Again, you'll glue these into place. Oops. Let's just get this in there for now. Oh, there we go. Oops. So there is the base of your carriage complete. Again, there's extra ones there. You can use them to keep them in place um, on the insides if you want. As long as you glue the, these into place, you're gonna be okay. You don't really, you don't really need those. I don't think. But whatever, if you want to go crazy with them, go right ahead. So you can see, oops, that by adding the large wheels to the higher hole and the smaller wheels to the bottom hole, when I set that down, it's even, it's flat and level. And again, if you glue these into place, they will not wobble about. So now, there's your base complete and you'll just plop the the body of your carriage or your wagon right on top of there. But I'm going to move that aside for a minute. For the roof, this is made up of all those long narrow slats and there are two pieces glued together here. The inside piece has grooves where the ends of the long slats will fit into place. So glue all of them into place on one side, 
then glue all of them in place on the other and then place that same curved shape on the outside and all that does is camouflage those end bits it just tidies up the end for the body of the carriage you have slots right there and there and here so these are the sides and these are the ends all you want to do is slot that just like that just like that and just like that and again you will want to glue these into place I'm just sort of cramming them together here for demonstration sake there you go on the bottom of this you'll see that there are notches on the ends those will fit into the base and keep everything in place Do -do -do. okay for the curved roof what you will want to do is there are these sort of extended little bits on the on the the top of the wagon body there's small grooves right there in the curved roof so those basically just slot right in together it might take a tiny bit of fiddling but you'll get them in and again on the other side again you might just have to wiggle it in a bit there you go that's it that's it all together all you need to do now is glue everything in place and um, add your windows your doors decorate it make it beautiful but really it's the, I know there's a lot of pieces but it's so so easy and I'm sure that you'll make something fantastic